As salespeople, one of the situations we find ourselves in, of course, is that we're not in a meeting, we're on the phone. We do tons of phone calls. In fact, we probably do more phone calls than we do physical meetings. But notice what's lost when you have a customer call, when you have a call, a sales meeting on the phone. You lose context. We need to work really hard as salespeople to add context back into a phone call that we would be otherwise given in a physical meeting. Think about it. You walk into a meeting, you're wearing an outfit, you have a physical space. It might be beautiful, it might be mundane, it doesn't matter. There's you know, a physical handshake, maybe a hug, whatever it might be. These are all contextual elements that communicate tons and tons of information to us in a physical meeting. As soon as you translate that sales situation to a phone call, you lose all that context. So what we like to talk with salespeople about is add it back. Add it back, because context is powerful. It gives me another way to influence you, and it gives me another way to connect to you as my customer. And so what we like to do is help people add this critical context back to sales calls. Here's a couple of examples. And now again, as in everything we talk about in these videos, these have to be authentic to you. So you have to find your authentic voice. I'll just give you a couple of examples. You, you may not like one or the other, but you pick one that works for you. I have a friend, Jim. He is a master at lead generation. The guy is the best I know in the business at engaging people ice cold on the phone and converting them into a meeting. He's just incredibly talented. Why? Because he's incredibly disciplined and he's developed great habits and he's been at it for 20 years. Here's what he does at the beginning of a call. And I'll tell you, he did this last night for my Kellogg class. He called in from Philadelphia and the class was expecting him to walk into the room and it was a sort of a fun surprise where he's on the phone and this voice comes out of the phone and it's Jim and he says, hello folks, hello Kellogg, this is Jim. I'm calling from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's about eight o'clock at night here but this afternoon it was sunny and beautiful and I was with my son, my middle son, on the Little League field. And I'll tell you something, in the summer, in June, in Philadelphia, there is no better place to be than on the Little League diamond when it's sunny and beautiful out. Now, what I'd like to talk to you about today, and he rolls in, just stop and think about that. What did he do? He added context. You can feel what it's like. Everybody in the world could feel to, can feel what it's like to be standing on the Little League diamond in Philadelphia and he, he's communicated that. He's added some color and shape to an otherwise flat, monochrome sales call. And we can all do this. And it doesn't have to look like that. Again, this has to be authentic. So you may not find yourself saying that. You could say something as sort of plain and simple as, hey, Justin, I'm glad to be joining. We, uh, I, I know we have about 45 minutes for this call. I just want to tell you where I'm sitting. I'm actually sitting in the Merchandise Mart, which I discovered is one of the world's largest office buildings. And I'm looking across the river at Wacker Drive in Chicago. Chicago is such a great city, especially in the summer. It can be something like that. Any color that you can add, any shape and context you can add to a sales call starts to add back all that stuff we take away when we, when we lose the physicality of a meeting. So think about that in your next sales call.